Welcome to the video guys, how are you doing? So yes then, today we are predicting Game Week 3 Premier League fixtures. That is right guys, last week's video I got one correct score. That was Aston Villa versus Everton. I predicted a 2-1 win for Aston Villa and I got that. Here we are then guys, predicting Game Week 3 Premier League fixtures. Like this video guys, subscribe not right there, without further ado, let's get straight in to these fixtures. Let me know down below in the comments what you think the scores are going to be for this weekend. Let's go! Kicking us off this weekend is Spurs versus Wolves. Yes then guys, Wolves drew at the weekend to Fulham. Nil nil. Spurs on the other hand also drew to all with Chelsea. What a game that Spurs and Chelsea game was man. <laughs> the managers were the Conte and Tuchel was going at it. Going at it. But I'm just, but I think they'll get us some sort of um conduct for this performance. But anyway guys, Wolves have signed some good players, but they aren't actually doing that well just yet. Um Spurs do look quite decent actually, Spurs do look quite decent, um, but I do think the defence is pretty open like it was last season, but uh, I can say we shall find out, Conte should get it right eventually, I can say Conte is a very good manager man, he's a um, very underrated Conte, but Wolves only have one point this season, they have some amazing players Spurs do, um, so, so I think guys, I think this should be a bit of a walk in the park for Spurs, I'm going for a 2-0 win, for Spurs versus Wolves. So, 2 0 win for Spurs. Next up, we have is Palace versus Aston Villa. Monday night, I watched the Palace versus Liverpool game, and wow, honestly, Palace are so underrated. Yes, they may finish bottom half of the table every single year, but trust me, Palace are tough to beat. Um, when they have Eze and Zaha fit, they look at an even better side. Um, so, fair, so to say, fair play to Vieira, man. He is, he is bossing it at, at uh, Crystal Palace. Got so many young players coming to the rank. Villa, on the other hand, won against Everton 2-1 at the weekend. Gerard versus Lampard. Gerard, man, I told you guys, I told you guys, Gerard will not take that loss lightly from last weekend. A close game though, a close game, but say, fixtures they had this weekend, Villa and Everton, Palace and Liverpool, going by their performances, I think it's going to be another stormment. I think it's going to be a two-all draw. Talk about Everton, it's Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Okay, Everton have signed some brilliant players this season. They had a real big relegation scrap last season, and so they thought, you know what, let's try and not do the same. Let's try and buy all these players to try and make us better. But they've lost two out of two games so far, guys. They aren't looking good. Lampard has Lampard has a bit of trouble on his hands, trust me. If Everton keep losing games, I think Lampard could be in trouble um, again. Like, you know what, Lampard, man, he, he can't quite do it, can he? Guys, guys, Lampard can't quite do it. Um, but say, I do hope he pulls it around. Say, I do like Lampard, but I don't think Everton is the right team for him to be with. Um, so Everton, guys, so Everton, I've lost two out of two games. Don't look very good. They've lost, obviously, DCL has been missing for Everton. Obviously, Cover Lewin, he's injured. He's a, obviously, he's their number one striker. He's injured for six more weeks, I think it is. So Everton have not got a striker. They've been using Anthony Gordon. Um, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure about him. But Chelsea want him for 50 mil. What has what has the world come to, man? What has the football world come to? 50 mil for Anthony Gordon. I don't know. But yeah, like I say, so Everton have their troubles up front. Not in good on the other hand. Beat West Ham at the weekend. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe West Ham lost to Nottingham Forest. It's a big shock. Say. West Ham sure scored a few goals, but Nottingham Forest hung in there deep, defended, just kept booting the ball up in their half. It just a one-sided game, but somehow they still came on top. A fair play to Forest, man. Got their first three points. 
be a back in the Premier League after two decades. So it's um, good for them. Um, so yes. So on that. So on on the weekend performances and their form, I can't see Everton coming out with this game with anything. I think it's going to be a win again for Nottingham Forest. I think it's going to be a two 0 win, guys. That's right, a two 0 win for Nottingham Forest against Everton. Everton could be in deep trouble to lose this game as well. If Everton lose this game at the weekend, they're in some big, big trouble. So um, yeah, 2 0 Nottingham Forest. So this video I said there's some there was a massive shock at the weekend and here we are about to talk about them. But before I start to talk about them, next game is Fulham versus Brentford. Well Fulham guys, Fulham uh, you know Pretty decent start to the season, a pretty decent start. Not one of the games, but drew two games. Pretty decent, so um, you know what? Let's hope somehow they can stay up and not get relegated again. But, but anyway, let's move on to Brentford. Brentford won! Manchester United, four bloody nil. That is right, four bloody nil. How? Guys, honestly. Honestly, I watched that game and oh my days. Brentford were good, but may not it were shocking. I can't believe it guys. Honestly, Brentford absolutely destroyed Manchester United. What a way to start the season for them. I did not know how to cope with Brentford. Brentford were marking all their players out of the game, so one player per man marking every single player out of the game, so Man United could not break free. Can I break free? <laughs> yeah, 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 anyway guys, so yes then, so on that performance, Brentford are going to be sky high in confidence, man. So I think, you know, I think Brentford will come away with this win this this weekend. So I think, you know, I think a 2-1 win for Brentford over Fulham. That is right, a 2-1 win. If somehow Brentford win again, they are off to an amazing start in the league. So 2-1 um, Brentford. So next up we have is my hometown, Leicester City versus Southampton. And guess what? Your boy is going to this game, so expect a match day vlog next week. And oh boy, I, I'm, I'm excited to go. I'm excited to go. I've not been to a league match for a while, so it's nice to get back out there and support the team. So yes then, so Leicester versus Southampton, guys. So Leicester have not had the best start of the season, guys. It's, it's hurting me inside. It's hurting me inside. Um, we've, we've got, let's have one point out of two games. Um, and obviously they played uh, uh, Arsenal at the weekend. And Arsenal looked good. Arsenal took Leicester to pieces. Uh, Jesus, by the way, what a player he is for Arsenal. What a player. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so um, Leicester did not look very good. Um, again, Leicester have an issue right now where they haven't got any wingers. Barnes is injured. And we haven't really got a right winger, so Leicester are really struggling for wingers. And obviously, Ari Barnes is our like playmaker on the wing. You know, Barnes is, Barnes is quick. You know, he's, he he makes things happen for Leicester. And without Barnes, we don't look that good. Um, but yeah, I just remind you guys, Leicester beat Southampton nine nil two about three years ago. So um, <laughs> nine nil again, nine nil again. But yeah, say Southampton guys, they they were losing two nil to Leeds at the weekend and somehow they snatched a point. So so Southampton got their first point of the season against Liverpool, um, against Leeds. Two all draw. You know what? Fair play to Southampton. They battled to the end and got a point. So um but Leicester do have some good luck against Southampton. Um, Leicester seemed to beat Southampton quite a lot. So on on the previous visits against each other, previous matches against each other I'm predicting a 3-1 win to Leicester City against Southampton. Come on, Leicester. Let's get a first win on the table and start pushing up. So, yes, then, guys. You boys go to that match, like I say. So, expect a match day vlog next week. I'm excited. So, yeah, 3-1 Leicester City. Next up we have is Bournemouth versus Arsenal. That's right. Arsenal are the only two teams left in the league to keep a 100% record. They've played two, won two, and oh god, Arsenal looked very, very good. Arsenal looked fantastic. Um, Bournemouth on the other hand, 
I predicted Bournemouth would lose 3 0 to Manchester City and they lost 4 0, so um, pretty bad loss for them. I told you it would happen though, because say Bournemouth haven't really strengthened their side this season, so it's going to be tough for them to even compete. If Arsenal can keep Jesus fit this season, they, they could be up there for the top three finishes. Um, but I think, you know, this score just on, you say, just on, just on teams, Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Obviously, Bournemouth haven't signed anyone, Arsenal look good, Arsenal look strong, Bournemouth. Lost 4 0 to Manchester City, so their confidence is going to be dropped. So I think, you know, another win for Arsenal. I think Arsenal will win 2 0 against Bournemouth. I'm sorry, Bournemouth fans. I'm sorry, Bournemouth fans. Anyway, let's move on. Next up, we have is Leeds versus Chelsea. I don't even know if Tuchel can be at the dugout this weekend. I'm not sure what happens there, but we shall find out if he's allowed to. But yeah, um, Leeds said Leeds were winning Southampton at the weekend 2 0, and they came back to draw two goals. Leeds have a history of letting too many goals in. Hopefully, Leeds can sort of keep their defence tight this season and push on to be a better finish from last season. But um, say Chelsea, Chelsea one of these teams that are a bit hit and miss. Um, I think Kante got injured against Spurs, so I don't think I don't even think Kante will be playing. So that's a big loss for Chelsea because yeah, Kante is a very good player. Uh, he breaks up the play, he dictates where the ball is going. But I say I can't really see Leeds getting anything out of this game. They Chelsea should get the win. Things about the Premier League, though, guys, you, you, you don't know what's going to happen. The Premier League is so so exciting, man. Anything can happen. Look at us, Leicester in the league in 2016. I think Chelsea will come out on top with a 3-1 win. Next up we have is West Ham versus Brighton. I never, I never expected this start from West Ham. Played two, lost two. Can we just talk about Brighton right now? Brighton have won one and drew one. Honestly, Graham Potter has a team on his hand. Graham Potter has got Brighton playing some Good, good football. Say, so, Brighton might not have the players like everyone else does, but somehow you get them to play together as a team, work as a team, win as a team. Honestly, honestly, Brighton are tough to beat. Four points out of two games, you can't really complain about that. So, um, yeah, you know what, though? Say, so, what my words, Graham Potter will be, in fact, future England manager. I guarantee you that right now, he is, he is such a good manager, it's unreal. Brighton have confidence, West Ham don't have confidence, they've lost two out of two. I think it's going to be a 1-0 win to Brighton. We are now down to the last two fixtures of this week's Premier League. Next up, we have Newcastle versus Manchester City. Man City are the second team to keep a 100% win record. Man City just Man City, aren't they? Man City are class. And they, they, beat, they beat Bournemouth 4-0 at the weekend. Um, pretty easy score for them. Pretty easy win. And uh, yeah, they say they've got Newcastle. Newcastle true at the weekend as well. To Bright, I can't see them getting anything from this game because say, Man City is just Man City, isn't it? Man City are the best team in the Premier League. I think it's going to be a 3-1 win to Manchester City. I don't particularly like Man City myself because say I think I call them the oil money. Um, I'm sure you Man City fans will comment on that. But um yeah you say I just think the oil money and uh, you know they just buy players for the fun of it and uh, it's like, basically I'm just basically I'm just jealous. <laughs> but anyway, do you want to win to Manchester City? Oh boy, this, this is the game we are excited for the most, aren't we guys? This is the one we're excited for the most. You know what is coming up right now? I've missed two names out, two big names out of this prediction till now. Because this is the last game of the weekend. It is Monday night. Football again. Manche Manchester United versus Liverpool. Man United have it tough. Losing 4 0 to Brentford, you'll think, Man you'll think Manchester United will come out and redeem themselves, basically, basically, basically redeem themselves to losing 4 0 to Brentford. But um, I can't see it. 
the Liverpool guys, as I said, they drew, they drew at the weekend to um, Crystal Palace 1 0. Didn't look that good, honestly, it didn't, did not look that good. But United, United are just shambles, aren't they? United are just shambles, and um, their confidence is going to be so low. And um, right now, Ten Hag has a problem in his hands. He's came at the wrong time where he has players that want to leave, including Ronaldo. I can't imagine the dressing room being a good place to be right now. So Ten Hag has came into the team at the wrong time. Um, so he's got he's got a big problem on his hands. But honestly, I can't believe how bad Manchester United were. They were awful. So on that on that on that game. I'm going to predict the score, an easy win for Liverpool, a 3-0 win to Liverpool against Manchester United. Tell you what, if Man United lose 3-0 again, this is what I'm most excited for the most, Manchester United versus Liverpool, what again it's going to be guys, a 3-0 win to Liverpool. And there we go then guys, that is the end of my Game Week 3 predictions for this weekend. Let me know down below if you agree with any of my predictions for this shit, for this weekend and let me know down below in the comments and so on that note I'll see you guys on Monday where I upload my Leicester City versus Southampton vlog I'm going to the stadium I'm going to watch it live so I'm excited to see them I'm excited to see it live Premier League match here we come so yes then guys I'll see you on Monday for a brand new video thank you for watching today's video today I've got the England t-shirt on and it is, it is one step closer, one week closer to the World Cup. Talk about that more later on down the line in this year. So, um, the boy is buzzing for the World Cup, let me tell you that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Good, good, and good night, guys. Pray!